Hey guys, looks like if the YSL case has taken another turn, you all know every day is something new. There is never a dull moment, always something new. Well, it looks like Malik, his attorney, Jonathan Malik, has been suspended for six months. Yes, say it ain't so, but I'm saying it is so. He's been suspended for some type of impropriety he did on a previous case does not concern this case nonetheless he was suspended i pulled up a yap blog and it had some write-ups on him positive as well as negatives but the one young woman who posted said that he took her money did not represent her and made a very disparaging remark against her so i don't know if she's the one who filed but someone filed saying that he misrepresented this individual let's take a listen to this video it's crazy folks i can't keep up i really can't i got things to do with my life okay i cannot be keeping up with the ysl this ysl case is ridiculous it's prolonged it i think the bottom of this case as far as i'm concerned it's over it's done whitaker the new judge is trying her best to keep it all together and keep it moving but i don't see any end in sight and i'm tired of it what about you anyway we're gonna listen anyway right we're gonna check this video out we're gonna uh kind of try anyway to keep up and listen this is just a sidebar but i really appreciate those of you who don't want the ai voice but it saves my voice because i find myself getting hoarse when i talk a lot i had it checked out they said there's nothing wrong with my voice but it saves my voice okay so i appreciate those of you who hung in there while this ai plays because i'm still doing the ai intermittently not as much as before because a lot of people really don't like it they like the personal re uh, experience of a live person i appreciate that i hear you i acknowledge you i'm gonna do my best and try a little more try a little harder okay but my voice folks as you get older all kinds of stuff happens i don't know if you guys some of you young folks don't know that, okay? As you got older, you're going to find out. I found out. It's not pretty. It's not good. I hate it. But it's part of aging. So, I just got to make the adjustment. When my voice is is groggy and and raspy, and maybe you guys would have a little difficulty hearing it, I turn to the AI, you know? It saves my voice. It saves on me having to talk a whole lot. It's not a bad idea for some of some of you out there who want to rest your voice from time to time because this blogging is kind of hard on the voice, you know, having to talk so much. And I do a lot of blogging. Any event, let's get to what is in this video, the main component, the roots of it, the judge, the meat of it. Let's go. According to Atlanta News First, Jonathan Melnick, who had been representing Copeland, a.k.a. Lil Woody, was suspended from practicing law in Georgia for six months on Tuesday after the Supreme Court of Georgia determined Melnick did not reimburse his client for attorney fees in a Rockdale County paternity case. The court's decision, released Tuesday, suspended Melnick for violating two state bar of Georgia rules after he failed to notify his client in a 2017 child support case in Rockdale County about an opposing party's motion and subsequent hearing. Another dramatic day for the Wiseau Rico trial involving rapper Young Thug. Jurors abruptly leaving the courtroom when one of the state's star witnesses learned he no longer had a valid attorney. Eleven Lives Grace King joining us live from the Fulton County Courthouse. And Grace, why did Lil Woody's lack of an attorney end up causing such a disruption? Well, Lil Woody is a reluctant witness who doesn't quite understand the terms of his immunity deal with state prosecutors. That's why the judge felt it's necessary for Woody to have an attorney. I don't recall. 
after a morning filled with few answers. Witness Kenneth Copeland, better known as Lil Woody, learned he no longer had an attorney. I was told that um, Mr. Melnick um, been suspended. And I don't want to speak without my attorney. The Georgia Supreme Court suspended attorney Jonathan Melnick for six months based on his conduct in another case. Do you have another attorney that you want to engage or would you like for me to find a, uh, a, an attorney, a volunteer, basically? I would like for you to find one. Judge Whitaker already knew about Melnick's suspension and had a new attorney, Charles Engelberger, on standby. He's available today. He'll be waiting for your call. I'm not going to have any problem with him, is it? I mean, I don't know why you should. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the morning. The state didn't have any other witnesses prepared to testify today. So, so after Judge Whitaker dismissed Lil Woody and the jurors, she turned to the prosecutor and she said, well, I'm going to paraphrase. She said, you know, y'all got to do better. Y'all got so much evidence. That is going to take a year and a day before we get to it. And that's not how a case is supposed to run. You presenting evidence upon evidence that looks like if it's never going to run out. So do better. Choose your evidence. She's not telling them not to, you know, present their evidence. But they're finding stuff every day, it seems like. And they're holding on to stuff and they didn't. Uh, do full disclosure, all kinds of foolishness and shenanigans. She said, y'all got to do better. And that's not how hearings are supposed to be, very prolonged for years. So you guys need to do something about it. Kind of get a handle on what your case is going to be. She criticized the pace of this trial and the large volume of evidence that's still remaining. Seems not practical that... The case is going to go on forever because you're going to use every possible piece of evidence that you can uncover. I mean, that's no way to try a case. On Tuesday, witness Kenneth Copeland, better known as Lil, Woody, returned to the stand with a familiar phrase. I don't recall. He repeatedly told Assistant District Attorney Simone Hilton. His attorney, Jonathan Melnick, was notably absent. A Georgia Supreme Court decision, released Tuesday morning, was the evident reason. Accordingly, it is hereby ordered that Jonathan R. Melnick is suspended from the practice of law in Georgia for six months, it read. The suspension based on this opinion will take effect as of the date this opinion is issued and will expire by its own terms six months later. The State Bar of Georgia member directory only lists one Jonathan Melnick and shows that attorney as suspended due to non-compliance, a status further described as a member who has been suspended by Supreme Court order for non-compliance with continuing legal education rules and regulations. Therefore, they are ineligible to practice law in Georgia. Although Copeland had been on the stand most of the morning, when proceedings resumed after lunch, he appeared to have a change of heart. So I looked on the review site, the Yelp review site, and it has some good and bad comments about Jonathan Melnick. And one in particular I wanted to read, it says, Malnick took my money, Mr. Malnick took my money without any representation. I filed a complaint against him with the State Board of Georgia. It is public record. I tried to resolve the issue privately to no avail. I just want my money back. He also used an expletive towards me because I'm an African American. I just want justice, says Victoria J. The crucial witness for the state told Judge Whitaker he had found out about Melnick's suspension and refused to speak without an attorney present. Judge Whitaker swiftly sent the jury out on recess and said she would work on obtaining a public defender for Copeland in his attorney's absence. Upon returning from recess, she said the attorney the court found would not be available until tomorrow, so Copeland would not be able to continue testimony today. The jury was released until Wednesday morning. Whitaker instructed the state to have their next witness ready just in case things go a different direction. Melnick's suspension is completely unrelated to any work on YSL, according to the state's highest court. Instead, it stems from a 2017 child support case out of Rockdale County in which Melnick allegedly failed to inform his client about a motion and subsequent order. 
The client owed $3,629.93 within 30 days, according to the ruling. She didn't find out until her child support amount decreased. Melnick never filed a motion to withdraw from the case, nor did he terminate his representation, it read. The client retained new counsel, who contacted Melnick and raised the possibility of the client filing a malpractice action against him. The State Disciplinary Review Board recommended Melnick be given a public reprimand and undergo a law practice management assessment based on his violations of Rules 1.31 and 1.42 of the Georgia Rules of Professional Conduct. Melnick had asked the court to consider in mitigation that he did not act with a dishonest or selfish motive, that he was cooperative with the disciplinary authorities and that there was a delay in the proceedings given that the allegations at issue happened over five years ago. In June, attorney Kayla Bumpus filled in for Melnick while he was on vacation. Woody later told the judge he fired Bumpus, though the two appear to have made up. The two of them hugged in the courtroom waiting area before his testimony Monday. Jonathan Melnick, who had been representing Copeland, a.k.a. Lil, Woody, was suspended from... So attorney Kayla Bumpus was on her podcast and she couldn't believe what had happened to Melnick that she said it might be her turn next. I don't know what's in her past, but as an attorney, whether you're on the bench or off the bench in your private life, even you got to be very careful what you do. Yeah, that that was brought to uh, our attention uh, fairly recently as well. The uh, thing is, he's going to be suspended for six months for practicing. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with this case, but... Uh, do you have another attorney that you want to engage, or would you like for me to find a, uh, a an attorney, a volunteer, basically? I would like for you to find one. All right. Well, I um, had already actually the public defender's office um, had been in contact with me um, to try to find somebody without a conflict, and they have found somebody named Charles Engelberger. Um, so let me try to get in touch with him and see if he can get down here and um, consult with you. Okay. Okay. All right. So if you want to just step out for now um, and I'll take a recess and see what I can get done. All right. I'll miss a on this in a minute, but um, the attorney is happy to help but not available until the morning um so i'm going to pass along his contact information to mr copeland and they can plan to be here in the morning uh question for the state in the meantime do you have any witnesses that you could get here that are you know like hour-long witnesses whose place in the story does not really matter that much like I think you had some people listed as records custodians and things like that. A chance we could fill the day with something useful while we've got the jury here? Them. 
Mr. Kaplan, during the break, I was able to speak with Mr. Engelberger, and he is happy to represent you. I've got his name and his phone number written down on this sheet of paper, which I'm going to provide to you, and you can call and speak with him this afternoon. And he is available um, beginning at 845 in the morning. So what we'll do is uh, plan to pick up there tomorrow um, with you and with him available for you. Um, and in the meantime, between now and then, you go ahead and give him a call and y'all can talk about whatever you need to talk with him about, okay? All right, so um, we'll see you at uh, 845 tomorrow. You mean no time to talk with him? Yeah, you can talk with him for the next. Oh, it's like today? Yeah. Oh, so he'll be yeah, yeah, he's available today. He'll be waiting for your call. I'm not going to have any problem with him, is he? I mean, I don't know why you should. Okay. All right. Take see you in the morning. Be safe. Okay, you too. All right, uh, let's get the jury in, and I'll excuse them for the day until time tomorrow. So there you have it, guys. It's a new day and new problems for YSL and the others. Lil Woody remains a reluctant witness, or some say hostile witness. And so we're going to see the outcome of this case. On that note, guys, I'm over and out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe bell. Thanks for watching.